so today we got a, a request from Shady Milkman on YouTube. I like the screen name. And he's asking for some sort of combination of guillotine choke attack to a triangle choke. A triangle choke. Can't speak today. So that's going to be his request. Guillotine choke to triangle choke. So I will show you an option from Full Guard on how to do this. And uh, as always, it's my lovely assistant, Mr. Adam Wilson. Let's get started. Because I know how much you guys love... I toss my phone. All right, so we're in position. So we're going to say we're in a full guard. So there's a couple different ways we can set this up. Um, I'll show you one way that I, I do it, and I'll show you from a couple angles. So let's say we're here in full guard. We can set up almost like we're going for like a Kimura or Kimura sweep, bump sweep. And that'll give us a guillotine sort of choke option, right? Now what you can do is as you're here, if he starts sort of driving his head up and you can't do that, you can take this hand back and I'll talk about, I'll show you how to do this without having to take the arm out. And then from here, we can really drive him over to get this hand to post. Once that hand's posted, I'm gonna hang on the shoulder and I'm gonna throw my leg up on the back here and at the same time pull this leg all the way out. And then we're gonna shoot in right to a triangle. And then from here, we can go for our basic finish back and forth, right? And get to the angle. You can start this, some, uh, this attack without even going for the guillotine, you can literally just pop up to your hand and drive, and then shoot back and forth into the position. Or, like I said, you can start by sitting up, like you're going for a guillotine, sitting back for the, or excuse me, going for a Kimura, sitting back for the guillotine, he starts to raise his head up, maybe fight the hand up, come around, drive, pull the leg back, shoot it in here. And again, when we finish this guillotine here, or this triangle choke, really simple. We're gonna hang on the head, we have to move the arm across, because I have to have this hamstring choking on this side, and I have to have the shoulder pushing into the artery on this side. And again, there's lots of different ways. I don't have the longest legs in the world. So I'm gonna show you how I finish it. Come over this way. What's up, Gabe? Later, Lee. So the way that I finish this is we're here. When I come in, I wanna make sure this leg's like a hammer over top of the back of the neck here, and I wanna shave across the face. Now notice, I don't have to have my leg fully locked in back here. I can have it right here and finish because it's all about removing that space and the lock here. Just using that hamstring to clamp down. So one more time, we're here, we're in position, maybe we're fighting the hands. We get the hands out to the side. We sit up like we're going for the Kimura, guillotine. Maybe we're not working, we might even fight that off with this hand or whatever. Boom, we come back, drive, pull this leg up, pull the leg up, over. That's all you're doing. You're putting the calf on the back of the person's shoulders, hanging on top of it so that you can pull the other leg out. And right there, you can set up a triangle choke. It's a really simple combo, um, but it's effective. And I know it's effective because it's been used against me before. Uh, back when I was a purple belt, a uh, guy named Dan, he, uh, he shot it in a competition and just like that, choked me out. He was playing around from that position, got me off balance and came right back into it. So super basic, super effective. Hopefully that helps you, Shady Milkman. I'm finished. Adam? Adam.